Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on skin at midlife because so often we look around us and see the older women who have got crepey skin and very dry skin and they're looking past their sell-by date and we don't want to do that and in fact there's plenty of research to show that we don't need to and I was amazed actually when I started to do the new research for my latest book on how much new research there is to support this. So I wanted to share a few things with you because there are three ways that you can tackle this. The first way is through your diet, but you need to really understand why, because at midlife there's something going on in your body that's pretty invisible. So until you get to the menopause or perimenopause, you've got lots of circulating estrogen. And that's how we function when we're going through our childbearing years. But when you get to the menopause, your ovaries stop functioning and that estrogen level falls. And so you've got empty estrogen receptor sites. So if you imagine those little receptor sites are like little space in a ping pong ball, like a space for a key in a lock. And instead of having estrogen falling in that's circulating around your body, they remain empty. And that's when the brain doesn't really get what's going on. So the little factories in your body that have been making all those lovely new cells to keep your skin nice and glowing and elastic -y and youthful, the, the factory starts to close down because oestrogen is disappearing off the scene. And so what we need to do with our diet, as well as making sure that we're having plenty of good nutrients to keep our functions going normally, we also need to make sure that we're having naturally occurring oestrogen. So foods like soy and linseeds and having some, maybe some red clover, all of those things have been shown to help to put back estrogen into our system. And you can fool the brain into thinking you've got normal circulating estrogen again. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to take some supplements because amazingly, the research has shown not just can you hydrate your skin, but you can reduce the depths of wrinkles quite significantly by taking some soy-based products. So I always try and point people in the direction of these supplements so that they can have the benefit of turning back the biological clock effectively. And then obviously, as well as all of that, you can use beauty products, plenty of hydrating products. Go for the ones without the parabens. You don't want all the chemicals, but you can have the ones with the natural oils and lovely natural herbal products. And you can go and find some of those in my shop and you can get some discount as well at the same time if you put midlife switch 2017 in as your code. So you can choose the different things that you want to use on your face and your body to keep your skin hydrated, but don't forget you've got to do something on the inside as well as the outside to protect yourself against the aging potential. If you want to look 10 years younger, you need to get to work, but there's plenty that you can do to benefit. So thanks very much for joining me today. Don't forget if you're not on my mailing list, go and join on my website and come to maybe some of my masterclasses so that you can get some more wisdom or you can join the Facebook community as well.